Well, these are difficult times for a lot of families and uh, for a lot of working families, particularly those that are entering the workforce or those that are in uh, very low wage jobs, not having had an increase in the minimum wage at the federal level for, well, over 10 years, just doesn't make a lot of sense. And so along with Senator Tom Cotton, uh, we propose raising the minimum wage over four years to $10 an hour, and after that to have it rise with inflation. Now, that's a lot better than the $15 plan that Democrats are touting because that $15 plan would be a huge burden for businesses going from $7.25 to $15. That would be just backbreaking and probably cost us, well, the Congressional Budget Office says cost us 1.3 million jobs. So that's the wrong way to go. Our plan doesn't cost jobs. It's also something that small businesses can live with and hopefully improve the lives of our citizens. At the same time, we're marrying that with a provision to make sure that people can't come into the country illegally and take away jobs from Americans. And that's with a plan to have a mandatory e-verify system that basically penalizes employers that hire people that are illegal, where that employer hasn't checked a federal database to make sure whether they're legal or not. So that's a plan I put out and uh, hopefully we'll get some traction with that and uh, keep the Democrats from doing something really nutty with their $15 plan.